Hello everybody, and on today's Elevator Parts project, we're working on this long elevator call button. This is one of three button styles long offered, and it was the most common in their later installs. So before we get started, these buttons have had kind of a mystery behind them. No one really knows what exactly they are, who made them, and what type they are. People have said they're innovation. I've also heard people say atoms. So let's see what these buttons really are and compare them to these other buttons. So first, let's listen to what this button sounds like. So our first button comparison is Adam's Designer. And if we overlay the button on the screen, you can see how similar these really are. And then if we compare them side by side, you can see, well, they are drastically different. And they sound different as well. And just by the press alone, you can tell that these obviously are not Adams. And just to prove this one's Adams, you can see it says Adams, and there's the base. And now what about innovation? Well, unfortunately, I don't have the innovation version of this button, but here on the side, we have a video from the Hotel Roanoke. And just looking at these, you're probably thinking, yep, this is just an innovation button. However, the innovation buttons press a lot differently than the long buttons. And I think it's about time we reveal what these really are. So these buttons are actually monitor. And this shouldn't come with any surprise because the other buttons that Long use are also monitor, as we saw in the Keener Garage buttons, and also from the other buttons that they offered, these. These are already confirmed monitor. So I find these buttons very unique because I've never seen this style used anywhere else except by Long Elevator, and it makes me wonder if these were custom designed for Long Elevator. So taking it apart is pretty easy. Just unscrew everything and pull everything apart. And here's all the parts, so let's take a closer look at each one. Here's the front of the plate, nothing too exciting here, but the back has these two different sized studs to hold the buttons. Next we have the little frame, and the braille can actually be removed by taking this nut off and poking it out. That's what the braille looks like. And then this is the little frame. Next we have the buttons themselves, and they're made up of two pieces of plastic. We have the inner piece, which is the more solid white, and then the clear outside piece. And the inner piece would be replaced with text in some instances, for instance like the alarm, and door open, and door close. Next we have the bases themselves, and these are just like any other monitor base. We have the button portion here, but no cap attached to it. Then we have the little spring that goes in the middle, and then the base. And you can see the four contacts there, and the little hole for the light. And here's how the button cap lays on top of the base. And finally we have the little LED circuit boards, and these are very long looking circuit boards. However, they are designed for 120 volts AC, and I want these to run on 3 volts DC. So, we're going to modify these boards just a little bit. I'm going to remove the 5 watt resistor and then switch the polarity of one of the LEDs so both LEDs are in parallel. And then I'm going to replace the resistor with a different resistor so that we can run these on 3 volts DC. After that, I'm going to get started with wiring. And now this project is complete, and as you can see here when I press the buttons, they light up and they look really good. This is a button that I've wanted for a very long time, and I finally have one for my collection. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.